gonna welcome to another edition of Suds and Country. Hi, I'm Herb Suds, and welcome to the show, my friends. Today I'm at the Philadelphia Folk Festival. I'm hearing a lot of good music. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk around. Who wants to talk to me? I happen to bump into the Quaby Sisters band. How you doing? We're fine. Great. All right. Introductions are needed. This is a... I'm Sophia Quaby. I'm Grace Quaby. I'm Holda Quaby. I'm Joey McKenzie. And I'm Drew Phelps. Welcome to Southern Country, everybody. Well, thank you. Good to be All here. right. Now, talk to me about the instruments that everybody plays. You? Um, I play a copy of a Strat. It's just a, a nice little fiddle. Nothing, nothing too special, though. I like it, though. <laughs> and um, I play a great old fiddle. <laughs> and I, I play a Gond and Bernadelle fiddle. Joey? Uh, I play a uh, Black and Decker guitar, <laughs> <laughs> and I play a string bass. There you go. I'll tell you what I just heard in this conversation. We've got three fiddlers here. Mm -hmm. All right. What can the listeners expect to hear when they're sitting out in the audience watching you play on stage? What can they expect to hear from the Quaby Sisters band? Well, we play a mixture of western swing yes. and vintage country. We play a little bit of bluegrass and some Texas-style fiddle tunes, some, some jazz, and just a, a mixture of a lot of the great old music from, say, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. <laughs> and that, you don't bring it to the new, new genre, gen, genre of music, do you? We just love mm. music from that okay. era, so that's what we play. Well, Bob Wills is kind of one of your heroes, correct? Yes, yes. yes. play a lot yeah. of Bob Wills tunes. Why did you pick three fiddles instead of a guitar and a and a mandolin or something like that. How did you come about three fiddles? We were all interested in playing the fiddle. So okay. Here all, you are. Yeah, yeah, we all like are, it. Are you the only ones around that play three fiddles in a band? I never heard of that before. Is there you know, um, I think in this day and age, it's it's a rarity. Yeah, I think and, so. And, uh, uh, you know, in years past, you know, bands like Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys uh, had triple fiddles, is, did a lot of western swing bands. Did uh, Yeah, in, in, in Texas especially, even some of the regional bands had two or three or even four fiddles in the band. But wow. in this day and age, it, you, you don't see it as much. I never seen this is like an, when I when I saw three fiddles I said well, I got to talk to these girls. You know, <laughs> that was one of the reasons we're here because it's very unusual. And you all sing? Yes, yes sir. Yes. You all sing yeah. harmony? We sing three-part harmony. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, that's something else. Who would you say your music appeals to with three fiddles? Who do you, who does your, what kind of audience do you appeal to the most? Well, I think, you know, people that haven't heard it maybe don't know what they think about it. And then when they hear it, we have fans from all different genres of music and all ages, too. I think people... Um, like the music and we love to play and we hope that comes through in our playing. If you like to play it usually shows <laughs> to the audience outside. Am I correct in saying that Joey? Absolutely you, you know, know we we are not uh, up there for saying oh my god I gotta play another show. Y you oh, know no. we, no. we uh we love to play and if and if we weren't at the Philadelphia Folk Festival today we would be at our living room <laughs> playing music or we'd be talking about music. We we all are really passionate about playing. I know Drew's really enthusiastic about music, as we all are. So, so you, it's a you it's enthusiastic. Something we would... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Say yeehaw. There you go. <laughs> out of out of all the venues that you've played, you play festivals, you play folk festival, bluegrass festival, jazz festival, nightclubs, rodeos, and the and the uh, cowboy gathering, the Western cowboy <laughs> gathering, in Elko. Yeah. Where was your music best loved? Out of all, all of them, they all loved your music. I How think did, um, wherever we've played, um, that people have always, even, you know, seemed to, to like it, even if they aren't familiar with it. But I think a lot of people just like the Western right. Swing, Texas-style music, you know. It's it's a fun, danceable kind of music. Doesn't it go out of style? We don't think uh, so. We, we hope not. We <laughs> hope not. There you go. You guys started to play in 1998, I read. Mm -hmm. and you, when was the band actually formed? What year? Two um, thousand. Two thousand, about when okay. we started started playing, but it's been a just a growing thing every year. Yeah, our band really really started out as as uh, not a conscious effort to say we're going to start a band, right. but but uh, the girls started playing fiddles individually, and uh, uh, all started even though they're different ages, they all started at the same time. Wow. And, 
and got involved in playing in fiddle contests and then right. won Texas State and national yes. championships on the fiddle. And then they started to play together and that was that was a, a new development and and started playing western swing music and we love cowboy music and oh yeah sons of the pioneers oh. so so uh, uh, started playing together and then singing is is right. really the uh, the newest element and they've been singing since uh, since I think the first performance on stage was at Elko Nevada exactly. at the National Cowboy Poetry Gathering in 2005 That's so. It. So it just it's just been growing and and uh, so we started getting calls to play and, and nice. decided let's get more serious about this and, and make it a real bona fide band. There so. you go. Now, did anybody classical fiddle here? Classical fiddle. That that now <laughs> ah classical violin. Nobody. No, no all fiddle. We're all fiddle. We're all fiddle player. Yeah. How often do you change your stage shows? Do you change your stage shows nightly? You know, different songs or. We we every it's always time. different. Every, okay. Yeah, every yeah. every show is different. Of, of, of how many songs do you have on your repertoire in your mind right now that you can play? Hmm. It's a lot. A lot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's um, influences. Who were your influences on the fiddle? Well, Bob um, Wills, of course, we mentioned. Bob Wills was your big yeah, influence. Yeah, we, we, oh, we love his band. And, right. And um, I would say like. In Texas style fiddling, we love like Terry Morris and Jimmy Don Bates. Okay. Major Franklin, Benny Thomason. There's some great I mean, fiddle players. You have some pretty good influences back there, mm -hmm. sure. Let's talk about you for a second. You started playing at age 17? I started playing the Joey? fiddle at age yeah. 17, and I started playing other instruments before that. Right. Yeah. And you won some a lot of championships too. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been lucky. I've I've been a, a world champion fiddle player. Three times. Three times. <laughs> wow. And uh, and won a few and lost even more. There you go. You have to lose Let's... to win, I think, sometimes. <laughs> Joey's um, a great any songwriters here? Um, mm, are you getting into it? No. No songwriters. No, we haven't yet. Yeah, yeah. All right, not yet. Yeah. You're Joey, focusing on fiddle. That's Joey all. Joey arranges all of our music, though. Like, we'll take an old song and we'll sit down and we'll say, hey, we want to learn this song. And so then we'll go, we'll put our own version, you know, our sure. own twist on it. And Joey does our arrangements for it. You played the Grand Ole Opry? Mm -hmm. did. That was had to be an honorary moment in your career yeah, so far. It was. It was uh, Ricky Skaggs invited yes. us out, wow. and uh, uh, we we had the opportunity to play the 78th birthday celebration of the opera. Isn't so that it was nice. really a great night, and 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 we're really interested in the history of the music that we play. So being able to play the Opry and stand in that circle, ah, you know, don't it's, ask. it's really a, I know an that. honor and, and just a, a blast. No, I'll bet. Yeah. You have at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. That's another honor you had to play there. Not everybody yeah. gets invited to play there. Absolutely. Oh, that was so cool. That was cool? Yeah. Yes. It was really neat. How about Lincoln Center in New York? That's an honor, too, to play Lincoln it Center. It is. You're... We'll yeah. be there day after tomorrow yeah, I know. and sharing the stage with Ricky Skaggs again, so it'll be, be big fun. How about the Ernest Tubb Jamboree on WSM? That had to be another honor. You guys are playing in great places here. <laughs> it was that, really fun. That, that was fun right. too, huh? And how about the uh, the ballroom in Tulsa where we play for Ray Price? Kane, Kane that Ballroom. That was so much fun just to be there and, and be where Bob Wills played, actually. Yeah. yeah. That was so exciting. How about the uh, Reno Philharmonic? You guys played with the Reno Philharmonic? That had to be. That was, that was a very neat experience to get to play with an orchestra, something that we'd never gotten to do before, so it was really incredible for us. We were actually chosen to have a, a rhythm and rawhide uh, uh, event every year, and they choose somebody in the western music field, and they hire a uh, symphony arranger to, to uh, arrange the band's music for a full symphony, so, right. so uh, Michael Martin Murphy was the recipient last year, wow. this year. We were the recipients, so, wow. so a really great Not arranger nice. from Los Angeles arranged several of our songs Not for nice. a symphony, and and uh, so it was an awesome yeah. feeling to be standing in front of a symphony. Yeah. When they <laughs> come bet. in behind you, it's yeah. it's like nothing else you've ever heard. Website, we're we're close up now. Absolutely, uh, 
www.quabysistersband.com and Quaby spelled Q-U-E-B-E. -E. There you go. Yeah. All right, advice to anybody out there listening. What, what do you have advice? You played anybody advice. On... <laughs> don't ever don't ever learn to play the fiddle. <laughs> Just get you in trouble. There you go. What are your goals? To, what are your future goals? Any... We just want to keep playing and enjoying what there we're doing. There you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Lessons learned so far. What lessons have you learned so far since you've been playing? Any, anybody? Joey? Well, uh, um, no? you know, make sure the check clears. There you, <laughs> there you go. Uh, tune your work. fiddles. Tune your fiddles. There yeah. you go. Good enough. Yeah. And, hey. uh, but it's it's just it's just so fun to play, and we love to travel. There you go. Playing here at the Philadelphia Folk Festival is a real honor, and and uh, being able to hear all the other bands and be a part of it ourselves is it just doesn't get any better than that. I want to thank the Quaby Sisters band for being on Southern Country. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you, thank you, Joe and thank Drew. You. Thank you very much. Oh.